I am Seipel and here's a recommendation for you if you're looking for an alternative to the LFO tool from Steve Dudas, Xfer. The plugin we're gonna look at is Filter2 and it's from a company called TAL. I have like 20 subscribers, so maybe you could just subscribe for, you know, sympathetic reasons and I'll be back with more nuggets like this. Let's dive into it. So here's a beat that I put together for this demonstration. Whoa, shoot. And here is a synth riff that I want to add on top of that. This is how it would sound like if we just put it in there. And you know, it sounds pretty cool, but to get that punchy feeling, to get the kick drum to really punch through the mix, I would like the volume of this track to dodge every time the kick drum is kicking in. So this is where the Filter 2 plugin comes in. The difference between using this and to using, say, a compressor for side shading is that in this plugin, similar to the LFO tool, I am able to manually draw the curve of the volume. So here's the settings that we have to work with. The BPM factor, modulation type, resonance, depth, input volume, and output volume. The BPM factor decides how long this looped curve should be. So when it says 16, like here, it's said to repeat for every beat, like boom, 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 boom. And here I can decide if I want to work with the volume of the track or a bunch of filters or even penetration. In this example, we're going to go with volume. So I'm just going to go ahead and play around with this in real time and you'll see what happens. It already sounds much better. Here's what we had before. And now with the plugin. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment.